One of the things I, I love about your new book is that unlike your previous book uh, about antitrust did not take us inside your heart and soul. It took us inside your mind, which was the most scholarly book I've read uh, from a senator since Daniel Patrick Moynihan. Oh, uh, what but, a compliment. But Thank this you. book takes us inside the way you feel. And, and, and I'm, I'm wondering how you felt this weekend when you heard about this mass murder in Texas. Because I, I can tell you, I just felt disgusted and and sickened and utterly hopeless you have taken an oath of optimism that's what the oath of office is among other things you are not allowed to feel the complete despair that i feel about these kinds of things but what what do you feel when the when the news report comes in of the latest mass murder at a mall i don't think any decent human being can feel nothing but heartbreak when you think of two sisters gunned down elementary school kids in a parking lot simply going to a mall something american kids do um, all over the country on the weekends that's what happened here and it is happening over and over and over again and i do not know how my colleagues can stand by when there are solutions you look at uvalde the Mm -hmm. school in texas where the fourth grade class was shut down you look at buffalo in those cases those were 18 year olds. They literally waited until they could buy an assault weapon over the internet. At the very least, banning it for that group, I would ban the purchase of assault weapons. I, as a, coming from a strong hunting state, I always say, does my Uncle Dick need that in the deer stand? He doesn't need one of those weapons in the deer stand. Um, there are plenty of law abiding gun owners all across this country that agree with me. And when you look at the numbers, 70, 80 percent of the people, 90 percent of the people wanting background checks, wanting these red flag laws um, more very clear in all of the states across the country, doing something on magazine limits. These are things that will save our babies and our kids should have the freedom to go to school without fear. They should have the freedom to be able to go to a shopping mall on a weekend day. They should be able to have the freedom to be kids. And that's what their lack of action is taking away from these kids. So I'm glad Senator Schumer is bringing us together, and I'm glad the president has been so clear in his commitment to pass these laws. Uh, the, the, what the president is doing very clearly is, is very specifically putting it on Republicans when he comes out with that statement saying, I'm ready to sign. This is exactly what I'm ready to sign. And it's clearly the Republicans who are blocking it. I think he also knows that uh, last year the Republicans did work with Democrats on a much more limited bill, but they were willing to cross the NRA. A number of them were to do that. Um, So it's not at all out of sync for him to say, "Okay, let's go to the next step and really get something done here.